Hi, Shanny Fannies. Welcome to Fun Fright. Wait, how does that go? Wait a minute. That... Hi, Shanny Fannies. No, welcome to. Hi, guys. How do I say it? Hi, guys. Hi, Shanny Fannies. Welcome to Fun Friday with Shanny. I'm Shanny, and let's have some fun. Yeah, I think that was right. Today, I'm going to do a very highly, my most highly requested video, which is more tabloid magazines. So I'm very excited. I got the newest In Touch magazine. We're gonna go through it. Um, but before I do that, I just need to make a couple announcements for those of you that are coming to the meet and greet tomorrow, which is today for you, Saturday. Um, when you find the building, just tap it into GPS, that will be the easiest way to find it. But when you find it, you can't park in the parking lot right in front of it. You have to park across the street. So it'll be across the street south, I believe. Yeah, south, right across the street. There's a huge parking lot. That's where you need to park if you're driving. If you're being dropped off, obviously don't worry about it. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's really important. It's going to be really, really fun. So I hope to see all of you there that can come and those that can't. Remember that we will be live streaming it um, on Paul's channel. So I'll be doing a live stream on Instagram, but not on YouTube. But if you go subscribe to Paul tonight, then you can be notified when he starts the live stream video on his channel. And you can watch the whole thing if you want to. So go subscribe to Paul D. Green. I'll put his information below. So yeah, so if you want to see the whole live stream, you got to be subscribed to Paul. So okay, so let's get into the video. What do we have today? Lamar's Kardashian tell all. <gasps> Cocaine, cheating, and lies. <sighs> Why do I love these so much? I don't know. I'm a horrible person. You guys love them too though, so you're horrible people too. That's great. Oh, and I do wanna say really quick, I did not mean to skinny shame anybody last time I did this. I know a couple people were kind of offended saying that maybe I was skinny shaming some of the skinny women in here and I wasn't skinny shaming them. I was just trying to point out to everybody that if you don't look like these women, that's okay. Like, it's okay if you do look like these women, but I'm saying don't kill yourself, don't have an eating disorder, don't do horrible things to get yourself to look away that might not be possible or practical for you. These people have a lot of money and uh, we're not in their lives, so we don't know. So that's all I meant. I didn't mean to skinny shame. I actually tried really hard to make sure I didn't do that, but I, I'm sorry if I offended anybody, so. Oh, there's Angelina and the kids. That's great. They're on a little swing ride. That's fun. Now, what is this, Kim Kardashian? What is this that you are wearing? This is not a dress. However, she thinks it is. My mom always taught me, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. This is interesting to me. I don't understand why if a girl has a bloated tummy, why people think that it's okay to like assume that she's pregnant. Except I do that every day to myself, but that's different. Here's Jessica Alba. Tummy looks a little bloated. Obviously she's pregnant. <gasps> Baby? Baby on board? Jessica Alba's midsection looks pleasantly plumper than usual while on a family vacation. Could the 36-year-old actress who has two daughters with husband Cash Warren be adding a third child to the broad? Brood? Brood? Brood. Brood? How about she just ate lunch that had fiber in it and... Now watch, she's really pregnant though. <laughs> Did you come to join? Nope, just came to pay my respects. So all these people are very beautiful people. It's just that they have a lot of money. Keep that in mind. So listen, let's the Kardashians, for instance. <laughs> these women are beautiful women. Of course, like all of us want to feel beautiful and be beautiful and feel beautiful. And these women really are beautiful women. Like I'm not saying that they're not beautiful. I'm just saying that we have to be careful in like comparing our lives to other people's lives and our looks compared to other people's looks, especially when it comes to these big 
these people who admit that they have plastic surgery and they have so much money for uh, people that come and do their hair and makeup and trainers and all kinds of things like like it's great that they look like that good for them but I'm just saying don't compare yourself to something when the, your lifestyle is more than likely quite opposite of theirs or quite different than theirs and so I don't know why we keep on trying to like I don't know why we keep on hating on ourselves just because we don't look like these certain people or whatever. Like, it's just such a different situation. And yes, they're beautiful people, but they're also very, very um, obsessed with beauty. And they've admitted that. This isn't me gossiping. They've said that before, that they're obsessed with beauty and fashion and makeup and hair and all those things. So it's like, it, you know, I don't know. Just don't. It's okay if you don't look like that. And it's okay if I don't look like that. I love Katie Holmes because I'm a huge Dawson, Dawson's Creek fan and I really admire her because she never gets work done. Like, Katie, if you're watching, no offense, you look your age, unlike everybody else in Hollywood. I think that's really cool when people like don't get a ton of Botox and a ton of surgeries and stuff like that because, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody's got to back me up here. I feel like when I see a person like if they're an older person, like if, like for instance, if I see a person in their 40s or 50s who have clearly had Botox, it makes them look older to me because people get Botox because they think they look old. And so when I see a clearly Botoxed face, I think to myself, they're actually older than they are. Am I the only one? I don't know. I just, I am a big fan of like smile lines and wrinkles and gray hair. I think, I think it just adds character to you. So not hating on these people, not hating on you if you do Botox or anything. I'm just saying that go for what you think is beautiful and not what the world is telling you is beautiful. And I personally think gray hair, wrinkles, everything like that is beautiful. So I don't know. We just need to love ourselves. What, what do we have in body news today? Oh. The top 15 totally doable celeb slim down tips and tricks. Number one, <laughs> keep it short and sweet. You don't have to spend hours at the gym to make a real difference. When I'm working, quote, when I'm working, I'll just do a 20 minute power run, power run says super fit Jennifer Aniston, 48 years old. Number two, make a yummy breakfast. A healthy breakfast doesn't have to be boring. Jennifer Lopez, 47, drinks a smoothie made with unsweetened quinoa or rice milk. It's really good, she says, and it starts the day in the right way because we can go, we can go astray as the day goes on. That's true. Number three, plan ahead. Food prepping is all the rage for a reason. It helps curb impromptu fast food stops and vending machine mistakes. I like a good stir fry with brown rice, veggies, and egg whites, says Jordana Brewster. I work it to work, I bring it to work in a cooler. It looks dorky, but keeps me healthy. Number four, sharing is caring. One of the easiest ways to control portion sizes is to share meals. Shay Mitchell says that she and her pretty, pretty Little Liars co-star Ashley Benson often went half seas on set. If she was craving something, we'd split it. Number five, skip fad diets. Number six, find a workout you really like. Number seven, take it on the road. Number eight, try a class. Number nine, keep snacking. Number 10, get creative. Number 11, don't deprive yourself. Number 12, upgrade your workout wardrobe. Number 13, stay hydrated. Number 14, get cooking. Number 15, get your kids involved. Now listen, these are all great tips to being healthy. Well, thank you for the tips in Touch Magazine. I think as long as you're being as healthy as you can, whether you do these things or not, um, you're beautiful and it's important to be healthy. It's just not healthy to an obsess over being healthy. So there's my girl, Katy Perry, not mine, but Jade's girl, Katy Perry. That's just for Jade. Are you watching, Jade? Are you watching? She's so beautiful. All the people are beautiful. 
Even the ones who are fake beautiful, they're still beautiful because everyone is beautiful. Everyone has a good heart. Ooh, turning up the dial on V-neck rompers. Oh my gosh, I love rompers. If I could wear rompers, I would. I really would. I think they're adorable. Golden locks, yes or hot mess? You tell me. <sighs> Ashley Green, you're a hot mess, so you should probably get on that. Because of course they're right. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts. This is my favorite magazine, by the way, for several reasons. But I love this part. It's the very last page and they're just like laugh, like it's called Last Laughs. And it's usually comedians that make a joke. So we get like seven or eight jokes per page. And I always like to play a little game with myself and pick which one I think is the funniest. So let's read them aloud and you can decide what you think is the funniest too. Okay, so Jimmy Fallon said, Oscar Mayer just created a new drone that can drop hot dogs from the sky. So your move, Russia. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, Seth Meyer says, the makers of Barbie unveiled 15 new Ken dolls with seven different skin tones and body types. I can't wait to collect them all, said a Barbie with commitment issues. <laughs> Will Presti, Will Presti says, Kermit the Frog's puppeteer is changing for the first time in 27 years. It's a welcome change because Kermit said the guy was a real pain in the butt. <laughs> I get it, I get that one, that's so funny. Okay, Conan O'Brien said, an elderly woman flashed her chest at Dodger Stadium on the Jumbotron. It's all a part of a new baseball tradition, the seventh inning stretch marks. Oh, that one's kind of mean. Oh. Jimmy Fallon said, Airbnb is planning to launch a luxury, a luxury service for mansions. They say it's perfect for people who want to have everything stolen from their mansions. <laughs> exactly. The Kermit the Frog definitely wins in my book. What do you guys think? All right, what else do we have in here? Look at Julianne Huff in a swing on her honeymoon, I guess. She just got married. That's great. Look at those abs. Oh my goodness. Again, she dances almost all day long and she works very hard for it and I'm not dogging her or shaming it for it. That's awesome. But don't kill yourself over it. If you don't look like that, your lifestyle might be different. And if you do dance 10 hours a day, well then, I'm sure it'll catch up with you. And if not, who cares? You're beautiful and you're doing what's healthy for you and what's good for you, no matter what. Like that's really what matters. And only you know what is good for your body, so. Sofia Vergara got bangs. That should have been on the front page. What are they thinking? She's so funny, I freaking love that woman. Daniel Craig is re-signing as 007. Welcome back or go away? 80, 82% said go away. What do you think? I don't care. I don't like James Bond movies. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. None of you will hate me. Most of you are women. Most women don't like them. Some do. Look at this. Look how old are these people? Jessica Simpson too? What is all this? Look at those butts. What the crap? Who looks like that at that age? That is so not fair. But you know what? I shouldn't judge. Maybe they work really hard for it. They probably do actually, but I'm just jealous, that's all. Why am I jealous though? Why can't I like my own butt? Why can't I like my butt? Even though it's like really big, but it's also kind of flat and it's full of cottage cheese and dimples and very saggy. Why can't that be beautiful? It is to Danny, I guess. That's all that matters, right? So when I see ads like this, I'm so torn. And tell me if I'm the only one. I feel torn because it's a shoe ad. So why do we need to see a perfect body model next to it? But then other times I'm like, oh, she's pretty and they put her in here. 
because she looks very healthy and maybe she got healthy by using their shoes. I'm like, why, why? We don't even see her feet. We don't even see her whole body. Like, why aren't we seeing if any part of her body we should see her ankles with the shoes on them? But no, we're only seeing from the knees up. Like, what's that about? Yeah, I'm being too sensitive. Anyway, I think that's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you want me to be doing this more often, I'm gonna continue to see how requested it is. And if you guys really want it a lot all the time, then maybe I'll start doing it weekly, so. Yeah, it's fun for me. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. I love you and remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. Thank you for watching, bye.